Oh, buddy, it's time. The light. The light. It's over. The darkness. The darkness has finally ended. There is light. Finally. As you can see, <laughs> the prophecy has finally, finally been fulfilled. We are now out of the darkness. My boys, it's time. There's so much happening right now. Steven Universe is coming back. The Cartoon Network PR Twitter just uh, tweeted not too long ago uh, a brand new, somewhat of a trailer. It's more of like a selection of clips, which I guess that's what a trailer is, but uh, it's a little different in its format. Um, yeah, about for the new Steven Universe episodes coming up. It's going to be absolutely insane. There's a lot here. There's a lot to take in. Uh, a lot of little hidden messages and meanings and subtleties in these clips. Absolutely cannot wait. But as you can see, before we get to that, it is coming back on the app. New episodes on the Cartoon Network app November 10th. I don't know. As, as At the time of recording this, I don't know how many episodes there's going to be. It could be... It's more than one. So that's good. that. That's really awesome. So it's at least getting, at least getting two episodes here. Uh, I'm assuming the episodes are going to be the ones that are showcased in this, in these, this series of clips. So I don't know if we're going to get them all at once or they're going to be spread out or whatever. But yo, it's finally time. The hiatus, the longest hiatus ever, over 150 days. Uh, we're finally, it's finally coming to an end. And uh, all this is happening right at the same time as Star... So it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a crazy couple of weeks. We got new Steven Universe episodes. We've got tons of new Star episodes. We still have to talk about Miraculous season two and Hawk Moth and all that stuff. There's a million things to digest, and there's gonna be tons and tons of stuff to talk about. Uh, stuff that we haven't even released yet on this channel. But had to get to this first and foremost because this is brand new and this is super exciting. So we're gonna break down everything that happens in this trailer. Um, in the beginning, we actually get a somewhat of a new song by uh, Steven. Uh, and he's saying, I wish I could tell you that I something, blah, blah, blah. And then he gets interrupted by a phone call. I don't know if we're going to get a full version of the song or not. Uh, I hope we do because it sounds like it's pretty good. And it sounds like it's most likely referring to Connie uh, kind of being upset with Steven, as we saw in the previous trailer. Uh, you know, Connie is pretty pissed off that Steven is taking everything so lightly and not really thinking about the major consequences that are going to be taking place because of everything that happened on Homeworld. So uh, that's probably what this song is about, and he's probably pretty bummed out about that, and uh, we, we see that there's a lot that's going to be happening here. So uh, we actually get a call from uh, Peridot and Lapis, um, and Lapis was apparently worried that Steven dropped the phone on Homeworld, but Peridot said, <laughs> Peridot said no way, he's probably just ignoring us. Um, and it looks like she was right, given uh, Steven's reaction he seems pretty embarrassed about it uh and i think he's kind of just shutting people off because he's kind of frustrated and or depressed and or confused because there's just so many bad things happening and there's a lot to kind of process for him so he's probably just kind of ignoring people but i guess he's finally taking the time to talk to peridot and lapis um and he apologizes and he does say that there is a lot that's been going on obviously besides the obvious the uh, you know him just coming back from homeworld Connie's pretty pissed off and maybe Lion is missing by this point, and that's why he's just so down and depressed, and he just doesn't know what to do. Uh, there's a whole onslaught of things that could be happening all at once during this time. We don't know if this is after, before Mayor Dewey or whatever, the um, uh, Dewey Wins episode, uh, which we actually see a clip of later on, and it's actually pretty interesting. We've seen this clip of Connie leaving with Lion, Lion giving Steven that stink shy eye, <laughs> stink shy eye, stink side eye. Um, and here's a very interesting part. We actually see uh, Nanny Pa uh, running for mayor. <laughs> She's uh, kind of rallying and getting the people together and saying that they should vote for her. And everyone seems pretty uh, pretty stoked on her so far. So it looks like this is the Dewey Wins episode. Obviously, we know that episode is that uh, Stephen is supposed to help Mayor Dewey help win a difficult campaign. I think this might be a misdirection because I really cannot imagine a Mayor Dewey episode taking place in the middle of all this craziness. Uh, if it does, that'll be kind of annoying, but I'm hoping that, you know, the rest of the episodes will be able to balance it out. Um, either way, I'm cool with it because it does look like it'll be an interesting episode and it looks like everyone's really in emotional states. Um, and for some reason, we notice that Sadie kind of sneaks out here. I don't know if that's an important detail or not, um, but she kind of just ignores everything that's been going on in this this whole rally she just kind of gives it a glance and looks and tries to get away sneakily almost 
Um, I don't know why. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily relevant. Uh, looks like Sadie and Steven may have had a conversation of sorts. Because uh, we see she's around. She comes out around the same point of Steven. Uh, if we see here. So this isn't the big donut. She's not coming out of here. I doubt it. So it looks like they were talking about something. And she seems pretty weirded out. Maybe they have some sort of plan or something. I don't know why they wouldn't want her to run for mayor. Because she's very nice. And actually she probably would be. A uh, much better mayor than Mayor Dewey. So very interested to see what happens there. But we do know Stephen tries to help Mayor Dewey. So assuming this is the campaign that they're talking about, and it's not a misdirection because we know Stephen Universe likes to give us a lot of misdirections with their uh, their episode titles and or their episode descriptions. So this could be just something to throw us off course for something much more serious or emotional that will be coming down the line. Uh, we've seen this clip of Pearl saying that she wants to explain things uh, about Homeworld, but she wants to. Um, but they're just very uh, difficult to explain. And here's a new clip, and this one's actually pretty interesting. It's a brand new song uh, of sorts. Uh, we see Steven is rocking out on the guitar, uh, which I think this is the first time we've seen that on the show. We saw that in the short where he uh, did the song uh, Still Not Giving Up. Um, but I don't think we've ever seen him play guitar on the show, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's pretty cool. And he's behind in his background a bunch of ghouls and goblins, which is weird. Uh, this seems to be a Halloween themed song, and this is going to be airing after Halloween, but it's all good. Uh, we see, you know, all the cool kids are just kind of rocking out. They're jamming out. Uh, I'm assuming this is probably some sort of green screen that they got. Maybe it's at the warehouse. Uh, Buck probably set it up. Uh, Buck looking <laughs> stoic and chill as usual. Um, so uh, we see Sadie here, and she's like acting like a zombie vampire type person. And they're talking about how they're the walking dead, the living dead, and she wants to eat uh, your brains. Uh, so this looks like they're making a music video, basically, and this all goes back to when Sadie was hanging out with the cool kids, and they had a jam session, and they were really digging her voice, and how she was just ad-libbing. So they probably just all got together to make a song and make a music video, so that's pretty cool. But obviously there are some undertones with this song about the living dead, eating brains, all that good Halloween spooky, spooky goodness. And then that is, of course... Lars, uh, Lars is dead. <laughs> Lars is basically a zombie. He, for all intents and purposes, he is a zombie. Um, and this kind of goes back to him being a zombie. So this is obviously a kind of little nudge nudge from the writers. Like, hey, this is going to come back to haunt Sadie because obviously one of the first things we think of when we learn that Lars is practically immortal is like, okay, is he's going to outlive his parents. That's pretty understandable because he's, you know, should probably do that anyway. But now he's going to potentially way outlive Sadie, like to a, a complete, completely crazy degree to the point where he might not even age and she's going to age and he's going to stay the same. Like, that's pretty insane because, you know, they have this kind of unspoken romance going on. But, you know, how's that going to work? So obviously this is going to come back and we actually see the pink, little pink jelly. So that's probably also a nod to Lars being essentially a zombie. Um, so that's pretty interesting. And now we uh, we see uh, Mayor Dewey, he's sweating. The boy is sweating, and people are not feeling this man in office right now. Uh, we see Ian Jones Cordy right here, we're pissed off. We got Jenny and Kiki not feeling him, and some ra random background characters. Um, so it looks like uh, Natty Flower was uh, really kind of <laughs> rallying people up and getting them hyped and really wanting uh, Mayor Dewey out of there. Mayor Dewey is not happy. He says this is not good. Um, and then right after that, Obviously, that sentence is kind of referring to this overall arc that's been going on. Things are not good. This does not look good. And it really, really quickly, we see Lapis is pissed off. And we actually know that Lapis was talking to Steven, uh, as we saw in the trailer from Comic-Con. She's talking to Steven about how crazy it was that she escaped the diamonds and Steven's not worried and blah, 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 all that good stuff. And she's freaked out. She is not about it. She does not want to get caught up in another war. She's not having it today, son. So Steven is, or Lapis is absolutely pissed off and she hangs up the phone and Steven says, uh-oh. So obviously things are not good for Steven right now. He's got La he's got Connie pissed off at him. He's got Lapis hanging up the phone on him, pissed off. Uh, he's dealing with Mayor Dewey's nonsense. Lion's missing. Lars is in space. It's not a good time, man. It's not a good time to be a Steven. So yeah, that's basically it. And then we just kind of get the uh, crazy... Uh, uh, Steven Universe new end corruption corruption song type deal uh, at the end, the very ominous theme song that we have no idea what it's even supposed to mean. So yeah, guys, November tenth, this is happening. Uh, mark them calendars. It's gonna be on the Cartoon Network app. Uh, so download that app 
and watch these episodes. But what do you guys think of these clips? What do you think is going to happen in all of these these episodes? Like, how do you think everything's going to turn out and go down? How many episodes do you think we're getting? It looks like it's probably two-ish, uh, I would imagine. Um, two or three episodes, I'd imagine. So we'll just have to wait and see. But how many episodes do you think we're going to get? What do you think is going to happen with all of these, these crazy plot points happening at once? Let us know in the comments down below. And let's get some rip rip hiatus hype in the comment section boy let's get some rip hiatus hype it's done it's over it is time it's time the light is here but thank you guys so much for tuning in i've been michael williams you've been watching cartoon universe and we'll see you in the next video peace